I feel very fortunate to have grown up in New Zealand. This is a wonderful country. Not only is it very beautiful, but it has a, a fascinating environment. So I'm the chair of Te Manuhuna Araki. It's this wonderful project about uh, preserving and restoring the, the life and the biodiversity to this very beautiful part of the country. When I did the birds report, I looked at all the birds of New Zealand. Uh, the Raibu was one that I fell in love with <laughs> from the pictures. It's such a wonderful story of evolution that you know, millions of years ago, a bird that probably was a bit of an odd ball had a beak that curved slightly to the right proved such an evolutionary advantage to putting these bills under river stones to get little grubs to eat. What, what a special thing to have the only bird in the world with a, a beak that curves to the side like that. Only 20% of our, all our bird species are considered to be doing okay. 30% are in serious trouble and on the slippery slope to extinction. If we are to save all our birds, we're going to need a lot of large areas that are, are relatively predator free um, at different altitudes, different latitudes, with different ecosystems because of the great variety of birds that we have here. What we've done for our birds in New Zealand, we've put them on predator free islands off the shore because predators of course are the greatest threat to their existence. But we can't go on like that because those islands are full, they're running out of carrying capacity, running out of food. And what's more, when you isolate a population of birds like that, they risk becoming genetically identical or becoming clones of each other. So what we need to do is to have big areas like Te Manahuna Araki, big areas where the birds can flourish, where we can rid them of predators, that they're not going to be confined in a small space and risk drifting towards the shallow end of the gene pool. I was um, very lucky to see the rye bills nesting. There was a, a breeding pair there. The female sat on the nest with uh, two beautiful green eggs. And I understand the female sits all day on the, on the nest and the male sits all night, a good division of labour. Uh, and the male, while she sat there and I fancied she glared at me, the male went round and round me pretending to have a broken wing so I would um, be distracted by this and, and basically chase him. But one thing I learned about the rye bill is they only spend half the year in those braided rivers. The other half, they are up around Auckland because they migrate up there and then back down south to nest. So these little birds, these rye bills to me, are a great image for what we must do as a country to protect our biodiversity. We have to look after them at both ends. We have to come together. Conservation is a collective responsibility. It's too big for any one organisation. It's something for all of us. It's part of our identity as New Zealanders.